So I made a video about nine months ago now titled Relax Reads Hate Comments and a lot of people enjoyed that video and not to mention the YouTube comment section is just a bloodbath so there's an endless supply of hate comments. So with that being said, I just went through and screenshotted some of the absolute worst comments I could find over the past few months or so. It is crazy the type of stuff people will comment on my videos. I had somebody tell me to quit. He said YouTube is not for you. So to just jump into it here. The first comment says, Relax, I hate you, and then they followed that up with, Relax is a liar. So it looks like Stacy Triplet here caught me red handed. I'm a fraud and a liar. You know, my jig is up. It looks like I have to move the mixer now. Another comment here says, I Can't stand gameplay during narration. If you're too effing ugly to put your face on the screen, don't have a YouTube channel. I've actually never even considered having a face cam during commentary videos. That just seems completely out of place to me. Maybe if it was like a gaming channel or a reaction channel. But I feel like with commentary videos, it wouldn't even make sense to have a face cam. That would just be weird. I think just having gameplay suits it way better. But also, it is just astounding how this dude is so upset by gameplay on the screen. People will literally get mad at anything in YouTube comments. You put gameplay on the screen and they're mad. It it is wild. This dude said, I can't stand gameplay on the screen during narration. What did the gameplay do to you? I'm literally just playing a video game and dude is out here, you know, punching the air over it. Now moving on here, the next comment says, imagine clickbaiting for views, especially whenever I have a video like blow up and it gets recommended to a ton of new viewers. I get so many comments like this and it's almost as if they've just never used the site before. They've never been on YouTube. You know, they just ran stumbled upon this site called YouTube and I was the first video they've ever seen because almost every single youtuber on the site clickbaits sorry to break it to you there is obviously some very rare exceptions like you know, mr. beast people like that but the large majority of youtubers clickbait and I mean the video that he's commenting on here has 47,000 views so if you want to call it clickbait it clearly worked because not only did it make this guy click on it but you know 47 7,000 other people did, so I think it's definitely working out in my favor here. The next comment here says, the gameplay was terrible. And I actually get a surprising amount of comments like this. I don't know what people want from me. You know, this isn't a, a professional gaming channel. I'm not out here doing tips and tricks on how to be the best at video games. It's literally just something to look at in the background as, you know, I'm talking about the main topic. I don't know why you would click on a video about Charlie D'Amelio getting canceled and expect like ninja level Fortnite gameplay or like optic scump level call of duty gameplay it's just not happening like for example the game that i use the most for gameplay in my videos is probably call of duty and literally the only time i'm playing call of duty is when i'm recording for gameplay so that's maybe like two hours a week at max i had one person comment on one of my videos and say that they couldn't focus on the video because i suck so bad at rocket league like dude there's no way people are out here that focused on the gameplay. People are watching my Call of Duty gameplay, writing down my KD ratio on a pen and paper, you know, calculating my win-loss ratio between videos. It's insane. Now, this next comment here starts off in it's three comments, actually, and it says, I won't be returning to your stupid commie channel, followed up by, it's all bull, you idiot, with what's that? Five exclamation points. And then the third comment they made here says no you idiot masks do nothing it's all commie bull so apparently this person believes i'm a communist who favors the eventual creation of a classless society in which goods are equally shared between all citizens and this is because i made a video commenting on a karen who refused to wear a mask and you know i'm sure in that video i said you should wear a mask out in public and apparently that somehow makes me a communist who believes goods should be equally shared. <laughs> I don't understand the correlation there. So apparently if any of you guys out there wear masks, you're also communist. You know, tough luck on that one. Now the last hate comment I have here is from Steve Michael and he says, dude, 
YouTube ain't for you. And I really took this one to heart. I made a whole tweet about it informing everyone, you know, my YouTube career is coming to an end. Steve Michael telling you to quit YouTube is like Gordon Ramsay telling you to quit cooking. You just can't bounce back from that. So with that being said, let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments. Do you want a part three within the next few months? I would never make this like a consistent series, but maybe something I could do like every three months or so. The last one was nine months ago. I could definitely make it a little more consistent than that. So with that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.